A true crafter has all kinds of scrapbooking paper in their stash, lots of different patterns and colors, but they're really hard to decoupage with. They're thick and they're hard to mold around your projects. I'm gonna show you a hack today of how you can use up that scrapbooking paper and turn it into perfect paper to decoupage with. And the trick is packing tape. Take the piece of scrapbooking paper that you wanna to use to decoupage with, lay it facing down on your table, and then get packing tape and lay it all the way across that piece of scrapbooking paper, right down to the very bottom, and you're overlapping it just a little bit. And get a credit card and really press that tape in really well. And then peel the tape off, starting at the bottom, up one piece at a time, and you can see how it's removing a layer of that paper and creating a thinner piece of scrapbooking paper. And you're gonna repeat that process, removing the tape until you get to the top of your scrapbooking paper. Now it's thinner, but it might not be still thin enough. So you can go back in and you can add another layer of tape, making it thin as you need for your project. I also like to save the tape that I've taken off because you can add that into your mixed media projects. So just tuck it aside in a little drawer and use it up later. I'm going in for my second layer and you can see how it's still removing a layer of that paper. This is such a great hack that opens up so many possibilities to decoupaging. It's really expensive if you're going to buy napkins or specialty decoupage paper when you can make your own with your scrapbooking paper. This will also work with wallpaper. So when you're at the thrift store next time, look through the papers and see if there's things that you can use that you can make thinner to decoupage with. Now this is just a plain piece of computer paper. I've printed one of my graphics on it and we're gonna make it thinner so it's going to be easier to decoupage with. We're gonna have this almost as thin as a napkin and then you can put it on your DIY projects. So give this hack a try the next time you're ready to decoupage. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you're going to love either of these next two. Take care.